Firstly, let's understand affiliate marketing in one sentence. Affiliate marketing means you promote someone's product by using a unique link and when a customer buy that product by clicking on your link, you will get paid. So let's come to Amazon Affiliate now. Amazon Affiliate means you are promoting Amazon website product on your blog or on your website and when a user clicks that product on your website, he or she will be redirected to the Amazon products page and place their order. On successful transaction, Amazon pays you some percentage of that sale as a commission. So this commission percentage ranges between 5% to 12% depending on the type of product you referred. Now, let me make the entire process easy for you. The whole Amazon Affiliate program works for you in this way. Number one, you should sign up with Amazon Affiliate program to get affiliate links of products. Number two, you should have a working website or a blog to promote products. Remember, when you will be signing up with Amazon Affiliate program, they ask your website URL. So our initial step should be to make a website for our Amazon products promotion first and then after we can sign up with Amazon Affiliate program. So let's jump to next lecture and understand about Amazon products niche first before starting Amazon Affiliate website development. In this lecture, we're gonna talk about niche websites. Niche means subject or a specific topic. Let's take an example of Amazon website. Amazon has more than 25 product categories. If we hover on departments, we can see these all are the product categories. Let's go ahead with electronics, just click on it. All electronic gadgets are here to shop, but no clothes, shoes or other products are listed under electronics product category. It means to categorize the products in a better way and to improve the customer shopping experience, Amazon divided their entire website products into product categories. So we can say the product category electronics is a specific niche where only electronic products and gadgets are available for the customer to buy. Like we can see over here, these all are gadgets. If you can see this car and vehicle electronic or this uh, TV remote, this uh, sound system. In the same way, there are other niche available like this art and craft, baby products, beauty and personal care, the fashion products are here, luggage, movies, television. There are so many other niche available into the Amazon website itself. So these product categories are basically we can say niche. So when you are starting a new affiliate website, it is recommended to just go ahead with one specific niche rather than promoting versatile products. The reason is after having the products on your affiliate website, you need to promote them. And if products belongs to different categories, then it will be a little difficult to promote them. On the other hand, if you would be having products belong to just one product category or niche, then it will be easy for you to promote consistently. And remember, without promotion, affiliate doesn't work. You have to promote your affiliate products consistently in order to rank them onto the Google. You can also use many other social media networks and in the upcoming lecture, I'm going to teach you everything about how we can go ahead with the website development of Amazon affiliate and other things. So that will definitely work you and generate a full time income. Thank you. Before starting this lecture, let's understand how the Amazon affiliate website can be developed. A website is something which keeps all the information or products that you want to place on the internet so that billions of people can access it. An Amazon affiliate website or any website can be developed by using three things. Number one, domain name. Number two, web space or we can say web hosting. Number three, web development process. So let me give you a very short description about these three things and then after we'll be starting the Amazon affiliate website development process. Domain name. Domain name is the name of your website. For example, the Amazon company has its own domain name www.amazon.com or www.amazon.in. In the same way, Sony has its own domain name www.sony.com. So in one sentence, domain name is the name or address of your website 
where people can reach and see your stuff. Web hosting. When you are launching your website, you need some space to put your website content on the internet like product images, text, database, files, etc. Web hosting is that space which makes it possible for you to run your website on the internet and this web space can be purchased from an internet company like SiteGround, HostGator, Bluehost, A2 Hosting. There are so many other web hosting companies that I mostly use to buy this web space. Web development process. This is the last step where after having our domain name and web space, we'll be moving to the Amazon affiliate website development phase. This entire process is going to be very interesting as we'll be using a very easy to use tool to make your first affiliate website. So let's start building your affiliate website now. Open a website which is wpscratch.com slash affiliate. Our first step is to pick a name of our website. Now before selecting a domain name, it is important that you should know the domain name should be relevant to your affiliate website niche. For example, if you have decided to promote all the electronic products on your website, then the domain name should be something related to like gadgets, something like that. So it's completely up to you. So let's check the availability of this domain. This domain name is available. So it is important when you are selecting a specific niche, the domain name should be relevant to that niche. Let's move to step two. So just scroll down. It's time to get web hosting and domain name. So click on get hosting and domain. For creating our Amazon affiliate website, we'll be using SiteGround as the web hosting provider. SiteGround is another great web hosting providers who are famous for their low price and fast page loading speed. They have more than 20 million websites hosted on their server so far. So let's go ahead with the web hosting plan. There are four plans available web hosting, WordPress hosting, WooCommerce and cloud. Just leave all these three. These all are a little bit expensive. Let's go ahead with the first one. Get started. Now here we need to select the first plan, which is startup plan, which hardly cost you $3 and 95 cents a month. Their regular price is around $12 a month, but you will be getting a discount over here. So just click on get plan. All right. Now here we need to register the domain name for our website. As we have already checked the domain name availability in the previous step. So let's enter that domain name and we can buy it. Dot com is already selected. Now let's click on proceed. So the domain name gadgetsshopee.com is available. You can select any of your own desired domain, but please check the availability of that domain first. Now we need to fill up this entire form completely. So let's go ahead and fill up this form. All right. So the form has been filled up completely. Now, we can check the purchase information section. So here we have selected startup as the plan. Data center is Singapore. So here you can also change the data center by just clicking on this icon. I recommend you to select the data center nearest to your location. So as I am in India, so Singapore is the nearest data center location. Period. Period means the billing cycle. So I recommend you to just go ahead with 12 months plan as you can save a lot in this one year plan. Now, here are some extra services like domain registration. We are already buying with this hosting plan domain privacy. Leave it as it is. We don't need it at this time. Side ground side scanner. This is also not needed. So the total you have to pay is $63 and 35 cents for one year, which includes your one year domain name as well as one year web hosting. Now make these boxes checked and click on pay now. This will redirect you to the payment page where you can make the successful payment by using any of your credit or debit card or net banking. There are so many payment options available. I'm not buying this plan because I already own an account with them. So in the next step, I will be guiding you how you can log in into the 
site ground hosting to install the WordPress onto the domain name and we will be starting the Amazon affiliate website development process. Once you will make the payment successfully, they will be sending you a confirmation email as well and you can use the same email address and the password that you have just entered into this form to sign up with the process. Thank you very much. In this lecture, we're gonna learn about WordPress and then after I will be installing WordPress on our domain name. If we look back in 1990 or 2000, to develop a website, we had to write codes and make the website with 100% manual work. But thanks to WordPress, as it gives you the flexibility to design and develop your entire Amazon affiliate website without writing a single line of code and without having any prior knowledge of programming. WordPress is basically a tool through which we can use the drag and drop mechanism to design and develop your entire website quickly. Even I have wrote a detailed article on my blog why WordPress is better than other CMS. So if you would like to know, go to my blog and the link has been provided in this lecture as a resource. Alright, let's jump to WordPress installation process. So in order to install WordPress, go to SiteGround.com and at the very top right corner, we can see login. Just click on it. Now, enter your email address and the password that you created during the sign-up process with SiteGround in the previous lecture. This is my SiteGround dashboard. Click on My Accounts and here we need to click on Go to cPanel. Just click on it. So, this area is called cPanel or basically Control Panel. Here, all the website files, database, everything is stores. Now, in order to install WordPress onto the domain name, you can see this WordPress icon. Just click on it. So for the demonstration purpose, I have one of my free domain available that is the magicrooms.com. So I'll be using that domain in order to explain you everything about Amazon website development creation. So now here we can see install. Just click on it. Now this is the software setup process. We have to select many options over here in order to install WordPress onto the domain name. The first option is choose the version you want to install. So just leave it as it is. The latest is already selected. Choose installation URL. From this list, you need to select your domain name. I'm going to use my domain, themagicrooms.com. Now scroll down. Here we have few other options available like site name and site description. So these two things can be changed later on. Admin account, admin username and password. This is very important. So these username and password can be used to log in into your WordPress dashboard. So just create your new username and password. Leave all these other options as it is. WordPress starter keep unchecked and then click on install. So this will take couple of seconds to install WordPress onto your domain name. You will be seeing a admin URL and username and password something like this once the installation process is completed. So in order to log in into your WordPress dashboard, you need to go to this URL. So make a copy somewhere else on your desktop and this username and password can be used to log in into your WordPress dashboard. Thank you. So far, we have installed WordPress onto the domain. So let's check out how our website looks like. So I'm just opening my main website that is the magicrooms.com. All right. So here we can see a default website is appearing over here with some kind of content like my WordPress website, just another WordPress website. This hello world is basically a default blog post. And this is a search box. Some kind of recent posts are over here. So whenever you install a fresh WordPress onto a new domain, this default theme applies onto the domain and website looks like this. But this design is not looking too good or it's not beautiful. So let's go ahead, change this theme so that our website looks a little bit better than this. In order to do that, simply go to the admin page. So we need to just add forward slash WP hyphen admin and hit enter. So it will ask you for the username and the password. This is the same username and the password that we had created during the WordPress installation. So you can simply input your own one. Here we go. So I am logged in into the WordPress dashboard. So this is basically the backend area from where we manage all the content 
all the pages all the post products and almost everything can be managed from here let me give you a little description about this section wordpress allows you to use blog by default as we can see over here post section so posts are basically the articles you can add from here so i'm just going to click on all post and here we can see this is a default post with the title hello world so from here you can write blog posts into the website so this is just an extra benefit that you got now here we have pages section from where we can create pages like home about contact or whatever the number of pages you would like to create let's go ahead and change the theme of your website so here under appearance we have themes just click on it so this is the themes page here we have three themes available 2019 2017 and 2016 in which 29 is the currently active theme these two themes are just installed but they are not active remember at a time you can install more than one themes into the wordpress but only one theme can be activated at one time let's go ahead and add a new theme so at the very top you can see add new just click on it for your information in WordPress, there are two types of themes available, free themes and premium themes. These all are the free themes. You can use these themes without paying any extra charges, but these themes are limited in terms of designing. So if you want to uh, add more designing or if you would like to have more flexibility in the design customization, then you should use a premium theme. But here I'm going to guide you to use a very good free of cost theme that will give you more flexibility. So in the search box, just search for Ocean WP. This is the theme. Just install it and now activate. The Ocean WP theme has been successfully activated as we can see over here the message. Now, firstly, let's check out our front page of the website and see if any changes have been done or not. Here we go. So now we can see the design of our front page has been changed and this looks a little better than the previous one. Let's go back to the backend. We'll be making this entire layout more beautiful, more stunning. So with the help of Ocean WP theme, you can make any type of website, whether it's an e-commerce store or a basic business website. Even you can run a money making blog with the help of this theme. But today we'll be making an Amazon affiliate website with Ocean WP theme to make a full time income. Ocean WP theme recommends to install few plugins like this Elementor, this Ocean Extra and this WP Forms. So before installing these plugins, let me explain you a bit about them. Plugins are a kind of software or we can say scripts which are used to add features and functionalities into your website. Like this Elementor plugin this plugin is used to design the pages and putting content on them. This WP form plugin is used to create contact forms on your website with a simple drag and drop interface. There are more than 1000 plugins available to add on your affiliate website and make it features rich. So like themes, plugins are also available in two versions, free plugins and premium plugins. So here, I will be giving you a premium plugin free of cost to all my students who are watching this lecture carefully will not be using this Elementor plugin to make the pages but I will be giving you a premium plugin which is WP Bakery Page Builder. This page builder has been ranked number one into the WordPress environment into the WordPress directory and you can create almost any type of layout with the help of WP Bakery Page Builder plugin. So let's start installing the plugins in the next lecture. Thank you very much. So far, we have installed WordPress onto the domain. So let's check out how our website looks like. So I'm just opening my main website that is the magicrooms.com. All right. So here we can see a default website is appearing over here with some kind of content like my WordPress website, just another WordPress website. This hello world is basically a default blog post and this is a search box. Some kind of recent posts are over here. So whenever you install a fresh WordPress onto a new domain, this default theme applies onto the domain and website looks like this. 
but this design is not looking too good or it's not beautiful so let's go ahead change this theme so that our website looks a little bit better than this in order to do that simply go to the admin page so we need to just add forward slash wp hyphen admin and hit enter so it will ask you for the username and the password this is the same username and the password that we had created during the wordpress installation so you can simply input your own one here we go so i am logged in into the wordpress dashboard so this is basically the backend area from where we manage all the content all the pages all the post products and almost everything can be managed from here let me give you a little description about this section wordpress allows you to use blog by default as we can see over here post section so posts are basically the articles you can add from here so i'm just going to click on all post and here we can see this is a default post with the title hello world so from here you can write blog posts into the website so this is just an extra benefit that you got now here we have pages section from where we can create pages like home about contact or whatever the number of pages you would like to create let's go ahead and change the theme of your website so here under appearance we have themes just click on it so this is the themes page here we have three themes available 2019 2017 and 2016 in which 29 is the currently active theme these two themes are just installed but they are not active remember at a time you can install more than one themes into the wordpress but only one theme can be activated at one time let's go ahead and add a new theme so at the very top you can see add new just click on it for your information in wordpress there are two type of themes available free themes and premium themes these all are the free themes you can use these themes without paying any extra charges but these themes are limited in terms of designing so if you want to uh, add more designing or if you would like to have more flexibility in the design customization then you should use a premium theme but here i am going to guide you to use a very good free of cost theme that will give you more flexibility so in the search box just search for ocean wp this is the theme just install it and now activate the ocean wp theme has been successfully activated as we can see over here the message now firstly let's check out our front page of the website and see if any changes have been done or not here we go so now we can see the design of our front page has been changed and this looks a little better than the previous one let's go back to the backend we'll be making this entire layout more beautiful more stunning so with the help of Ocean WP theme, you can make any type of website, whether it's an e-commerce store or a basic business website. Even you can run a money-making blog with the help of this theme. But today, we'll be making an Amazon affiliate website with Ocean WP theme to make a full-time income. Ocean WP theme recommends to install few plugins like this Elementor, this Ocean Extra and this WP Forms. So before installing these plugins, let me explain you a bit about them. Plugins are a kind of software or we can say scripts which are used to add features and functionalities into your website. Like this Elementor plugin, this plugin is used to design the pages and putting content on them. This WP form plugin is used to create contact forms on your website with a simple drag and drop interface. There are more than 1000 plugins available to add on your affiliate website and make it features rich. So like themes, plugins are also available in two versions, free plugins and premium plugins. So here I will be giving you a premium plugin free of cost to all my students who are watching this lecture carefully will not be using this Elementor plugin to make the pages, but I will be giving you a premium plugin which is WP Bakery Page Builder. This page builder has been ranked number one into the WordPress environment, into the WordPress directory and you can create almost any type of layout with the help of WP Bakery Page Builder plugin. So let's start installing the plugins in the next lecture. Thank you very much. In this lecture, 
we'll be installing all the required plugins like Ocean Extra, WP Forms, WooCommerce, Yoast SEO, and WP Bakery Page Builder plugin. So in order to install the plugins, either you can click on this begin installing plugins link or you can also go ahead with plugins and then add new. So let's click on this begin installing plugins. As Ocean WP theme recommends these three plugins, but Elementor is not needed as we'll be using the WP Bakery page builder plugin. So just leave this Elementor as it is and we can install and activate the other two plugins, Ocean Extra and WP Forms. I'm just installing and activating both of them simultaneously but you can also install them one by one by just clicking on this link. Here we go. So if we can check under plugins, installed plugins. So currently four plugins are installed. The dark one are activated and these are just regular fonts. It means these plugins are installed but they are not activated. So we can simply delete these two plugins. Remember, whenever you want to delete any plugin, firstly you need to deactivate those plugins. Alright, so from the list of 5 plugins, 2 plugins are already installed and activated. Now let's go ahead and install the Yoast SEO plugin, which is 100% free. So at the very top, we can see Add New. Just click on it. Now in this search plugin box over here, just search for Yoast. Here we go. So the first plugin is Yoast SEO. Please verify the author Team Yoast. So this is the original plugin that we were looking for. Just install and activate this plugin. You must be wondering what is Yoast SEO plugin and why did we install and activated this plugin. Let me give you a brief description about this plugin. It is very important. Yoast SEO plugin is used to fix all on-page SEO issues. Sounds a little tricky. Well, don't worry. Let me explain you in a small sentence. Everyone wants to rank their website on the first page of Google, but few of them achieve the goal. The question is why Google puts only 10 people website on the page 1, rest are on page 2 and page 3 and page 4 and vice versa. Is this not a partiality? Of course not. Google have a specific algorithm and those websites who fulfill all the rules and regulations of Google in terms of their algorithm, they rank on page 1. When you want to rank your website on Google, then you have to make your website compatible with Google algorithms. Yoast SEO plugin helps you to fix all the issues of your website which are not compatible with Google algorithm. This is called on-page SEO process. So you don't need to waste your time on the internet in searching of what's latest in Google search policy. For your information, Google updates or we can say changes their algorithms time by time. Our next plugin is WooCommerce. What is WooCommerce plugin? Well. WooCommerce is an awesome e-commerce plugin which converts your basic informative website into an online store. Why are we using this plugin in this course? There is a very minor difference between an e-commerce store and an Amazon affiliate website. On an e-commerce store, the products belongs to the website owner and the entire checkout process can be done on the same website under the same domain. On the other hand, an Amazon affiliate website looks like an e-commerce store, but the products are of Amazon website, not yours. And the entire checkout process is done on the Amazon.com or on their other websites. WooCommerce plugin is used to create products on your affiliate website and provide an e-commerce like environment to your customers or visitors. So let's go ahead and install WooCommerce plugin which is 100% free of cost. In order to install the WooCommerce, simply click on add new once again under this plugins. Now in the search box, just type WooCommerce. The first plugin is WooCommerce by Automatic. Install now and activate this plugin. After the plugin activation, you will see this WooCommerce setup screen as this plugin was developed 
to make an e-commerce website. Hence, when you install and activate this first time, it asks you to do some basic setup. This setup process is just to make this plugin working and hardly takes 20 seconds to get done. So let's select the options and fill up the boxes as per our knowledge. So the first drop down is country. Here you can select the country as I'm in India. So I can type India. Then we can put some address. You can select the currency well if you are in non-indian country like if you are in united states then the us dollars are the currency so you can select the us dollars i am in india so i'll be promoting the products in indian currency so here i can select inr and what type of products do you want to sell i plan to sell both physical and digital products so it's totally up to you whether you want to select this option or this individual one or both so just leave it this both section this is a good idea then the check boxes i will also be selling products or services in person just leave it as it is keep this uh, box checked and then let's go now payment section make it unchecked as we are not going to uh, make this entire website e-commerce but we will be redirecting the customers to the amazon website so all the payments checkout will be done on amazon itself but this plugin also needs to have at least one payment method so better idea would be to select cash on delivery option now shipping just make this unchecked and then continue also uncheck these boxes and then continue jetpack just skip this step and all done so this woocommerce plugin has been set up properly now click on visit dashboard so that you will be redirected to the wordpress dashboard like this so that's so easy to set up the woocommerce plugin onto your wordpress website recently WooCommerce have also released a new plugin that is WooCommerce admin plugin which is also free of cost so we can simply install and activate this plugin as well. It gives you a new interface with new features and reports. So we can simply activate this plugin. Alright so all the plugins have been installed and activated. Now one plugin is left which is WP Bakery page builder plugin. That plugin is not free. So if you will try to find out that plugin under the plugins directory, you cannot get that. Let's try to search WP Bakery Page Builder. So here we can see these are some add-ons for WP Bakery Page Builder, but not the exact plugin that we need. So in order to get that plugin installed and activated onto your website, simply go to the WP Scratch website once again. So type WP Scratch and then at last affiliate. This is the same link that I provided you at the very first lecture. Now here at the bottom, we have page builder. Just click on download page builder. So it will download a page builder file into .zip format. So let's download it somewhere onto my computer. So the plugin has been almost downloaded. Now it's time to upload that plugin into our WordPress website. So here under the add new section, you will also be seeing this upload plugin. Just click on it. Now from here we can choose file and upload that plugin into our website. Now install and activate this plugin. So this is the welcome page of WP Bakery Page Builder plugin and we have successfully installed the latest version that is 6.0.3. So this plugin is one of the best plugin to make pages design the layout of your entire website very easily with drag and drop mechanism. Thank you very much. In this lecture, we'll be creating a home page for our Amazon affiliate website. 
If we open our home page right now, a default web page appears. This is the blog page of WordPress. For your information, WordPress was developed for blogging purpose only and after seeing its popularity and flexibility, this platform has been occupied for website development and nowadays almost any kind of website can be developed on WordPress. So on this page, on the left hand side at the very top, this is basically called the site title. We can replace this title with the logo. In this area, we can create some menus and will be displayed over here. This just another WordPress website is the site description. So we can say this is the page title bar section that can be removed in the upcoming lecture. This hello world is the default blog post and this right area have some kind of widgets like recent post, recent comments, archives. So this entire section is basically the sidebar. So we can remove all these section and now we are going to create our home page and that home page will be set up as the front page of our website. So whenever someone would be opening the main website, the magicrooms.com, that home page will be appearing over here. So let's go ahead and create the home page. Go to the dashboard. Our first step is disabling the Gutenberg plugin. Gutenberg is a page builder plugin which comes by default with WordPress installation. But as we are already using WP Bakery page builder plugin, so we don't need any other page builder into our Amazon affiliate website. So in order to disable that page builder, simply hover on WP Bakery page builder tab and then general settings. Just click on it. Now here we can see the second option, disable Gutenberg editor. Just click on disable, hover at the very bottom and click on save changes. So that's all you had to do to disable this page builder. Now, in order to create our home page, just hover on pages and then click on add new. So this is the backend area of the uh, WordPress from where we can create pages. In the title box, we can put the title of our page like home. Here we can see two buttons, backend editor, frontend editor. This buttons only appears when you have activated the WP Bakery page builder. If you have not installed it, this button will not appear over here. Now let's publish. So I'm just creating a blank page as the home page of our website just to explain you how we can set this page as the front page. After that, we will be creating some content on this page. So let's click on view page and see how this home page looks like. So here we go. The home page looks something like this. The title is over here. This is called the breadcrumb and this is the complete blank area. And this section is called sidebar. So let's disable this sidebar from the home page. So again, we can go back to the home page. So when you scroll down at the very bottom, we can see Ocean WP settings. These are some basic settings from Ocean WP theme and we can play with many options over here. So at present, the default sidebar has been set up onto the home page. So under the main, we can see content layout. So here you can just put it as full width and then hit update. Now let's check our home page once again. So we can click on view page. Here we go. So now we can see the home is completely a full width page without the sidebar. So this is the way how we can disable the sidebar from the backend for any of the upcoming pages. Now, if you can focus on to the URL of this page, you can see after the main domain forward slash then index.php is added without any reason and then after the page name. So this entire URL is not SEO friendly. Better would be if we can have this page URL something like the magicrooms.com slash home. That's it. So we have to edit the permalinks of our website. That is the second task we have to do. After that, if we can simply open the main home page, let's remove this index.php and home and then open the main domain that is the magicrooms.com. So we can still see the default blog page is appearing. It means if someone will be going to the main website, this page will be appearing, but not the page named home. So how we can set the home as the front page of our website? So that is super easy. Just go to your dashboard. Now hover on settings and then reading. Just click on it. So this is the area from where we can set the page named home as the front page of our website. Currently you can see your home page displays your latest post. So just check the second radio button, a static page. 
and this from the home page drop down select the page that you would like to set as the home page that's home so that's all you had to do and then save changes now next step is we need to set the permalinks so under the setting tabs itself we can see permalinks just click on it and in this permalink section you have to select this post name under the common settings this one the fourth i think it's the fifth one so the url will be appearing something like the magicrooms.com slash sample post it means that will be the name of your page or the products now click on save changes all right now it's time to open the main page once again so let's hit this home page all right so now we are on the main domain and the front page is home so that's super easy to set any specific page as the front page of your website so now in the upcoming lecture we have to replace this text my wordpress website with the logo and we'll also be creating the menu over here we'll be removing this page title bar fixing up this footer as it is coming at the top and we'll putting some content into the middle area of this page so we'll be creating some kind of banner sliders for the home page thank you very much in this lecture we're going to learn how to create product categories for example if you have selected electronics as the niche then the sub categories under electronics are like this accessories and supplies this camera and photo home audio office electronics i mean the product categories are basically the specific topic under which you can list the similar type of products those are relevant to that product category so we need to create these type of product categories into our affiliate website as well so let's go back to our wordpress backend now here you can see products once you hover on it under this the third option is categories just click on it now here by default the uncategorized product category is always available when you will be installing the wordpress this category will not be deleted as this is the default so in order to create a new category you can simply type the name over here for example like electronics accessories here you can provide the slug slug is not too mandatory slug is basically called the exact url of that page after the main domain for example the main domain is the magicrooms.com then after this forward slash whatever the text appears in this address bar that is called slug so just leave this slug box as it is here you can also provide some kind of description about this electronics uh, accessories category i am leaving it as it is display type just leave it as it is and then click on add new category button so this category can be added over here like this you can also edit this category by just hovering on this edit button so this will be redirecting to your separate edit page of this specific category so that is so easy to create product categories into the amazon affiliate website in the same way you can add more product categories like this home audio office electronics whatever the product category you would like to add into the website just go ahead one by one and add them over here now if you would like to make a sub category of an existing product category just need to do one thing for example let's go ahead and add a usb under this electronics accessories so here you can mention usb the process is same but you need to select the parent category from this drop down so from here you can select electronics accessories and then add new category so this usb will be assigned as the sub category of this electronics usb as you can see it appears under it with a hyphen sign so that's so easy to uh, add these type of categories into your uh, wordpress website thank you very much in this lecture i'm going to teach you how we can design a copyright free logo without any specific graphic designing skills or without any expensive softwares like photoshop or adobe illustrator so in order to start the logo designing process simply open a website logomaker.com with the help of this website you can design a basic logo as per your need in the top search box you can type electronics when your website niche is electronics so let's hit enter so here we go we can see all the icons are related to electronics niche 
for example we can use this one so I'm just clicking on it and this is the logo designing panel you can simply change the color of this by having the color palette on the right hand side something like that you can also resize this logo like this or you can also resize them in this way if you want to add text you can see here on the left hand side text just click on it type anything whatever you want like electronic sphere we can also resize the font size something like this if you want to change the font style you can simply use this drop down to change the font as per your need let's align them left so here we have left if you want to change the color of these fonts use the same color palette like this now once the logo is finalized let's resize it a little bit more okay now this looks fine in order to save this logo on the right hand side we can see save icon just click on it and then no thanks download low resolution file click on it save this logo onto your desktop and that's all you had to do now once we check our website the default text is appearing over here so let's go ahead and put the logo in this area go to your wordpress dashboard and under appearance we can see customize just click on it this is the theme customization panel from where we can do some default settings to our website now in order to set the logo simply click on header then logo and from here select logo we can upload our logo into the website now click on select click on skip cropping and very soon it will appear over here so this is just the preview screen over here let's go ahead and refresh our home page once again here we go so this is how easy to set the logo onto our website this lecture I'm gonna teach you how you can create menus and those menus can be appearing over here in this area so that users or customers can navigate to your website so in order to do that simply go to your WordPress dashboard under the appearance we can see menus just click on it now firstly we need to give a name to our menu like main menu or any name that you can give over here this is just for your reference then click on create menu now it's time to add menu items to your menu so I'll be adding the product categories as the menus of your web page so in order to do that here we cannot see the product categories remember do not get confused these categories are basically the post categories and we have to enable the product categories so at the very top we can see screen options just click on it and from here we can enable the product categories so that they can be displayed over here in this area here we go now let's click on it and then click on view all so these all are the product categories that we had created into the previous lecture let's add all of them one by one and then click on add to menu here we go so they all are appearing on the right hand side let's add home page as well into the main menu item so click on the pages because home is the page so it can be found under pages and here we go we can see home if you cannot see it under the most recent then click on view all and here you can see home just click on it and add menu now at the very bottom we can see display location so Ocean WP themes comes with a default setting like whatever the main menu will be appearing in this area they will be assigned as the main so here in the menu section we can see main just click on it so main is assigned to this area and then save menu all right now let's go ahead and refresh our home page once again here we go 
so all menus are appearing over here but they are not appearing on the right hand side due to the number of menu items that have been added the above space is a little bit less than these number of menu items so let's go ahead and add this gps and usb under this electronics accessories so that we can save some space so let's go ahead to the main menus if you want to create any menu as the sub menu just drag and shift it to the right hand side like this in the same way like this let's go ahead make headphone as the sub menu of electronic accessories so in this way these three menus will be appearing under the electronics accessories now let's save it and then we can refresh our home page once again here we go so all menus are appearing and once we hover on this electronics we can see gps usb and home headphones appears just under it so this is so easy to add menus into your wordpress website and as we have already installed the woocommerce plugin that's the reason why automatically this cart icon is appearing on the top right corner which looks too cool thank you very much the amazon affiliate website is almost ready now few things we need to do before applying to amazon associate program like we can create some mandatory pages privacy policy terms and conditions and contact page so here i am guiding you how you can create contact page and then after learning the contact page creation you can create the content for privacy policy and terms and conditions page the entire process is going to be very very easy and this is 100% beginner friendly so let's go ahead and create the contact page first so from your wordpress dashboard hover on pages and then click on add new now in the title box put the page name contact here we can see back end editor and front end editor so just click on back end editor and this panel will appear now first element we have to add so click on add element and here we have row remember the entire website can be designed in the form of rows so we have a full with row it means whatever the content we will put that will appear in the entire area so in this row i am going to add google map so in order to get the google map simply open the website maps.google.com this is just for your demonstration purpose so i'm just adding my business google map into the website like this websoft global it services so it appears over here now if you want to embed this map into the contact page you can see this little three lines click on it then go to share and embed map here we have send a link and embed a map click on embed a map click on copy html so this code has been copied now let's go back to our contact page backend area click on this plus so that we can add a element now we have to add this text block there are so many elements available you can use them and these are just for your practice purpose so i'm just going to use text block because whatever the html content you would like to paste or short quotes everything can be pasted in this text block area so go to this text one over here then just paste the code that we have copied from there so this is the google map code now here you can see the parameters with 600 pixel height 450 pixel if no unit has been written it means it is in pixels so we can set the width as 100% so the width will be adjusted as per the container width and height is fine 450 pixel click on save and then publish now let's go ahead open this contact page into a new tab and see how the google map looks like so here we go the google map looks something like this but we haven't disabled the sidebar so let's go back to the contact backend page once again from the bottom under this main area content layout we can set it as full width and then update now let's refresh our contact page once again here we go so sidebar has been removed now let's go ahead and remove this page title bar section as well so go back to the back end 
at the bottom we can see title just click on it make it disable go to breadcrumbs and make it disable and then update now let's go ahead and refresh our contact page once again here we go so we can see the page title bar has been removed now just below this google map in this half portion we'll be putting some contact details like address phone number and email address and in the remaining half portion we will embed a contact form so let's go back to the contact page backend now our first step is we can create a contact form so in order to create a contact form here you can see wp forms this is a plugin through which we can create a contact form by just drag and drop interface and then after we will embed that contact form into this area over here so i'm just going to open the wp forms panel and we'll be creating a new contact form so in the form field we just need to put the contact name like contact form this is just for your reference and then after click on create a blank form all right so the right panel is basically the contact form designer and on the left hand side we can see there are predefined fields available as this is a free plugin so few of the premium fields have been deactive but that's not a problem even we can create a great form with the help of these free available predefined fields so in order to add the name you can simply just drag and drop this name field on the right hand side in this way so we can see the name field has been available over here now let's drag and drop the email so just below it we can drag and drop email field now for embedding the phone number we can simply use single line text just drop it below the email field and at last we can put the message box over here so that is basically the paragraph text field like this now let's edit these fields one by one so click on this click to edit and on the left hand side these settings will be opened so from this you can change the label like you can put your name over here so it appears on the right hand side these are basically called the sub labels so in order to hide these sub labels just close this tab and open the advanced option tab and here we can see hide sub labels just check it we need to do one more setting like whenever someone fill up this form on what email address these all details will be sent to so in order to set the notifications go to the settings and here we can see general tab notifications tab and confirmation tab go to notifications and here send to email address so either you can just keep this tag as it is or you can put your email address something like in the same way you can edit few more fields like email subject from name so here can be your website name like so in this way you can edit these notification fields at last click on this save and our form is ready now click on this cross and we'll be getting a short code so here we go this is the short code of this entire form we can simply copy this short code this is basically a code and wherever you will put this code the entire form will be displayed at that location so let's go back to the contact page backend now click on this plus and we'll be adding one more row so here the row is just click on it now we need this row to be divided into two columns so hover on it and here we can see the second option is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 so in this way you can divide the row into columns now click on this plus and here we have text block just click on it now go to this text tab delete all these stuff and paste that short code that's it and save changes so that's all you had to do to display the contact form in this specified area on the front end now let's add contact details so click on this plus again add the text block delete all this stuff and just put your details if you want to format these text simply just select them and bold it 
in the same way like this and then bold it. If you want to make this email address clickable, just select it. Here you can see this icon, insert or edit link. Click on it and then apply. Now save it. Now click on update. So that's all you had to do from the backend panel. And let's go ahead to the front page of the contact and we can refresh it. Here we go. So now we can see the contact details have been appearing over here and the contact form is also embedded successfully. So this is the way how you can use content into the WordPress website. And now your assignment is to complete the pages of privacy policy and terms and conditions by using WP Bakery Page Builder. Thank you very much. In this lecture, we're gonna sign up with Amazon Affiliate Program. So simply open the website affiliate-program.amazon.com and you'll be seeing this homepage. Now click on join now for free. So if you already have an Amazon account, then you can simply log in from here. Or if you are new to Amazon, just click on create your Amazon account. So I'm just going to sign up with a new account. So let's fill up your name, email and create the password. And now click on create your Amazon account. This is 100% free. So now they will be sending an OTP onto the same email address. So let's enter the OTP over here. Check your inbox. Here we go. So this is the OTP. I'm just copying it. And now we can paste it over here and then verify. There are five process to complete the Amazon associate registration account information, website and mobile app list, profile, identity verification and then after you can simply log in into the associate dashboard. So let's fill up this entire form completely and then we'll be jumping on to the next step. So first is pay name. It should be your name exactly written as on the bank account. So I'm just entering my name. Then we can fill up the rest of the fields. Before selecting the state, province or region, select your country, otherwise this field will not be updated. So let's select my country, I am in India, so I can select from here and then we can enter the state. Now we need to enter our phone number, so I am just entering my phone number over here. Plus 91 is my country code. Alright, now hit next at the bottom. Now here we need to enter our website address. For example, I have created the magicrooms.com. So we can simply enter the magicrooms.com and then click on add. So it will appear over here. That's all you need to do and then click on next. Now at the bottom, it needs a declaration. Are any of these websites or mobile apps listed above directed primarily at children under 13? So just click on no and then confirm. Now in this profile section, we need to create our associates store ID. This will be basically a unique ID just for your reference as well as Amazon will track your sales via this store ID. So here you can create any store ID. So better would be just enter your domain name like the magic room. Don't include extension like .in or .com. Just put your main domain name, the magic rooms and that's all. Here the website list is already there. Now you need to give a little description about your website. So I am just pasting some text over here like this is an e-commerce store and we are promoting the Amazon products. You can write your own description over here. Now, which of the following topics best describes your website or mobile app? So you can select the appropriate option from this drop down. For example, we are going to promote the electronic products. So we can simply select like computers. Then we can select secondary topic. 
if you cannot find your own category over here just select on other now what type of amazon items do you intend to list on your websites or mobile apps so you can select from here like electronics those are the categories of which we will be going to promote the products if you are planning to promote more products then you can select more check boxes like computers and office so it's completely up to you now what type are your website or mobile apps let's select from here so this is going to be basically a comparison shopping engine or a blog so here we can simply select content or niche website then select the secondary type so in the secondary type we can simply select comparison shopping engine now how do you drive traffic to your website so here there are so many ways to uh, drive traffic onto the website like paid search email marketing shopping portal displaying advertising so we can select the appropriate one like seo or blogs display advertisement social networks do not select this paid search because sometimes they do not allow to uh, promote the products via the ppc or paid searches on google just leave this paid search as it is we can also mention forums over here how do you utilize your websites and apps to generate income let's select the appropriate option from here as well so we can select e-commerce then the secondary one that could also be an e-commerce or if you would be having any more type of monetizations onto the website like amazon associate is the only way i monetize my website so just select this one or if you would be having google adsense then you should select some other options so i'm just sticking with this amazon associate at the moment now how do you usually build links so we can uh, simply click on this content management system because wordpress is the best way to make uh, the links or anything like that so we can either select content management system or just select blog editor now how many total unique visitors to your website and app get per month so here we can simply select less than 500 what is your primary reason for joining the amazon associate program of course we are going to make the money with this website so just click on to monetize my site how did you hear about us simply select word of mouth let's click on try a different image and then we can enter these letters into the box and then let's finish now in this step we have to verify our identity so just select your country code and enter your mobile phone number so that they will be giving you a call back with a verification code so let's enter a mobile phone number over here and then click on call me now As you can hear it is on my phone so let's enter the pin number that is displayed onto the screen so this call I have received from Amazon now just click on this you agree and then we can click on finish so that's all we had to do our Amazon affiliate association registration process has been done and this is our unique ID so just have a note it somewhere onto your computer all right now we need to set a few more things like enter your payment and tax information so that whatever the amount you will earn from them they will transfer that amount into the bank account so let's click on now and they will ask your bank details and tax information so firstly we need to log in again into our account all right again they need to verify our ownership so let's select India as my country all right so I have received my OTP I'm just entering over here click on OK this is the payment method page so here you can select the option like pay me by direct deposit minimum amount that i have to maintain is ten dollars into my earnings i'm just selecting this one bank location 
so here i can select india as my bank location now as per the bank location it asks you more details about your bank account so i'm not filling these details right now then after you need to click on submit and continue with tax information once you will complete the entire payment process then after you will be seeing the amazon affiliate dashboard something like this so this is how the amazon affiliate dashboard looks like on the top right corner you can see my store id that's my email address and these are few tools that you can use to linking the products of amazon website into your website we are not going to use these tools because i have a very easy mechanism to get the affiliate link of amazon products so let's scroll down and i can show you my earnings over here here we go so total amount i have earned so far is 35800 indian rupees and total clicks i got are more than 80000 So uh this is the way we can track all our sales and the traffic clicks everything onto your Amazon affiliate niche website via this Amazon associate dashboard. Now in order to get a unique link of any specific product of on Amazon website simply open a new tab and then go to amazon.com. Now you must be seeing this top bar Amazon associate site stripe and this bar This bar is not visible to all the users but as we are already logged in into the Amazon associate account into another tab that's the reason why it is showing over here so you need to firstly log in into the Amazon affiliate account on a tab and then after being logged in open this amazon.com in a new tab now let's go to electronics category all right Now for example let's jump to this camera and photo category. Let's say we want to promote this SanDisk Ultra 32 GB card onto our website so just click on it. Okay so this is the product this is product title. This is the product image. These are reviews. The exact pricing for 16 GB is $5.79 and the same way 32 GB is $7.41. Now if we want to get the affiliate link of this exact product on the top you can simply click on this text under this get link just click on text and then copy it so this is the affiliate link of this exact product now let's go ahead and we can paste this link into another new tab so i'm just pasting it over here and then hit enter so you will see the exact same page will be opening here we go and let's track this url so i'm just scrolling it horizontally and we can see the affiliate id will be included into this link here you go you can see tag equals to the magic rooms is the affiliate id that we got from amazon and hyphen 20 is automatically added so the complete associate id was the magic rooms hyphen 20 So this is included in the link it means now if someone buy this product Amazon will track this entire sale by this ID and they will pay me some commission. So this is how easy to sign up with Amazon associate program get the Amazon affiliate link and now in the next lecture we'll be creating this product onto our website and then after we'll be setting up this unique affiliate link over there. Thank you very much. In this lecture we can create some Amazon affiliate products into our website so our first step is login into your Amazon affiliate dashboard so open the website affiliate-program.amazon.com and go to the login page all right now we need to login into our existing account so just sign in so we are logged in successfully into our Amazon associate page now being logged in into the Amazon affiliate area just open the new tab of your browser and go to amazon.com now this time it will not ask you to log in again as you are already logged in into the associate area in your previous tab so here we can see the top bar is displaying in this home page of the amazon now let's go to some product so we can hover on departments and then electronics let's go to camera and photo now for example If we want to promote this product onto our website so just simply click on this product this single product page will be opened so this is the product image 
the product title and rest other details are also over here now if you want to create this product onto our website that is the magicrooms.com so firstly we need to download all these product images so that we can add them onto our website but if you will right click on this image you cannot see any save image button so how to download these images because amazon have protected their content so the best way would be copy this url now open a website image cyborg.com so this website will help you to download all the images which are existing onto this page or on any specific url so here we can simply paste the url and then click on download image so it will help you to download all the protected images now click on download images and we can save it somewhere onto our desktop or any area of your hard disk let's say i'm just saving it into the products all right so that has been saved now let's go back to our wordpress dashboard in order to create the products simply hover on products and then click on add new now from this screen we can add amazon affiliate products into our website so let's go ahead step by step first thing is product name so we can go to the amazon website this is the product name or we can say product title just copy it from here and we can paste it in the product name box you can also rename this entire name into your own words and that would be better this box is for long description of the product so let's go to the amazon website again at the very bottom we can find long description of this product like here we have the entire description i'm just copying it this one and we are going to paste in this box remember copying the content from other website and pasting it on your own website is not recommended it will violate the google's policy so better would be you can read the entire content and convert it in your own words so in this way you will pass the plagiarism check and your website content will be 100% unique let's scroll down leave this ocean wp setting section as it is and this yoast seo section is also not needed right now we'll jump to this section later on here product data this section is important so firstly make sure that it is selected as external or affiliate product from this drop down now here we have to pass the product url remember in this box you have to pass the affiliate url so we can simply go to the amazon website as we are already on this page so on the top left corner we can see text just click on it and here is your affiliate url of this exact product i am just copying it from here and we can paste it in this box like this now button text what exactly you want to display on the button when someone will try to buy this product so here we can simply type like buy on amazon regular price in this box we can pass the price of this product so we can get the price from here like this product is costing seven dollars and 36 cents so let's type it in this box that's all you have to do now let's scroll down product short description this is the short description area so whatever the content you will put in this box that content will be appearing on the product image right hand side like in this area so here we can copy some content like this i'm just copying it from here and we can paste it in this box again write your own content that is recommended now let's scroll up and we are jumping to the right hand side so here we can see product image let's set the product image of this entire product so click on set product image go to the upload files now we are going to upload the images from our desktop and wait for a few seconds now at the very bottom we can see set product image just click on it and it will appear over here like this now if you want to pass some product tags you can simply pass it over here like send as cards or you can also add like uh, memory cards so whatever you would like to add tags you can simply add them one by one over here now product categories as this product is going under electronics 
so we can simply mark as electronic if there would be any sub category you can mark them otherwise leave it as it is at last we have to publish so that's so easy to create an amazon affiliate product into your amazon affiliate website now let's check out this product onto the front page so i'm just going to click on this view product and we are opening it into a new tab here we go so we can see this product appears over here that's the product image the product name price product short description and the buy on amazon button so once someone click on this button he or she will be redirected to the amazon's product page if you can notice over here the amazon page has been opened and let's check out your amazon affiliate id once again whether it is listed in this url or not here we go so we can see my amazon affiliate associate id has been linked in this url so amazon will track that it is my sale so they will pay me some commission so that's so easy to create an amazon affiliate product into your website in the same way we can add more products by just going one by one on to the add new section and let's remove this sidebar this is basically a sidebar it doesn't looks too cool so let's go back to the wordpress dashboard and on the product backend page itself go to the ocean wp settings under content layout here it is default just select it full width and then update now let's refresh our front page once again here we go so we can see that sidebar has been successfully removed so in this way you can create the amazon affiliate product into your website now in the upcoming lecture we'll be doing some on page seo of this product by using this yoast seo plugin section thank you very much so far we have done a lot of things but still if you can see on the home page it is blank so let's put some content on the home page so i have created almost 8 products into the website we can simply go on to the products and then click on all products and you will be seeing a list of products in the table format like this total i have published 8 products now it's time to display all these products on the home page over here so let's open the back end of this home page click on these pages okay so now we can see here home page as the front page just click on edit this is the back end area of the home page just click on back end editor so that we can enable the visual composer and now we need to click on add element select row so a full width row is over here now click on this plus again and we can take another row inside it like this now within this internal row just click on it and add text block now as we have to display the products onto the home page so here we have to paste a short code i'm just relating all the text and we can go to the text area over here all right so this is the standard woocommerce short code i got this short code from the official woocommerce website the link of this website has been provided as the resource in this lecture so you can get the link from there okay so everything needs to be same here we can see products limit 8 so let's say we can set limit 4 so on a single page total four products of a specific category can be displayed columns equals to 4 it means all the products will be divided into four columns and category equals to category slug so here we need to replace this category hyphen slug with the exact category name so let's go ahead and find out the category name so here we can hover on products and then on the right click open link in new tab so basically you need to open the categories into a new tab now for example we want to display all the products under this electronics accessories so simply copy this slug this is this slug just copy it and we can paste it over here just replace this one that's all now save it and we can update so that's all you had to do and these all products will be displayed onto the home page so let's refresh our home page 
here we go so we can see all the four products under electronics accessories are displaying over here with the product name the product pricing and the buy on amazon button and also a quick view feature is also included by the ocean wp theme let's put a title over here like electronics accessories so again we need to go back now above this text block we need to put the heading so click on this plus and here we can select custom heading so custom heading is a widget which allows you to write any text as a heading and you can use custom fonts as well so for example i'm writing let's scroll down so here we can see element tag leave it as it is text align we can set it to center so the entire text will be center aligned into its container font size you can specify your exact font size over here for example 38 pixels or we can also pass like 35 pixels pixel is the unit which is used in this website development and designing purpose line height leave it as it is text color from here you can specify the heading text color for example like this pink or you can also use any of the color over here so i'm just leaving it to like this pink that looks fine font family you can change the google font family from here i'm just leaving it to montserrat this is the great font and the preview can be displayed over here you can also change the font weight over here like 400 regular or 700 bold regular if you want to set the animation you can simply use this drop down and set the animation as per your requirement i'm just leaving it as it is at last we can save it now let's update and now we can refresh our home page once again here we go so we can see the product category title is displaying over here with all the four products under it in the same way we can add few more categories over here so let's go back to the home page backend once again now i'll be adding the office electronics just below this electronics accessories category so the easiest way is you can see this double icon over here this is basically the clone this row icon so if you click on this icon the entire row with all the elements will be duplicated like we can see over here so we don't need to go ahead again and again and adding the elements one by one simply duplicate it and then edit so firstly let's edit the heading so we can simply click on this pencil icon and here we can edit it like office electronics leave other settings as it is then save changes now let's edit this short code so click on this pencil again now we need to get the new category of office electronics so let's go back to the product categories page once again and here at the bottom we have office electronics just copy this slug and now replace it from here like this save changes and then update so that's all you have to do and this entire product category with all the products will be displayed onto the home page let's refresh our home page again here we go so we can see office electronic title is over here and all the products belongs to office electronics are displaying under it so that's super easy to display the products on any area of your website with just using the short codes. You can explore more short codes onto the WooCommerce official website and that could be your assignment as well for the practice purpose. Now I'm going to remove this title from here. This is basically the page title. So let's remove it and we can put a slider banner over here. So in order to hide this page title and page title bar go to the home page backend at the bottom we can see title under ocean wp settings click on title and here disable in the same way go to the breadcrumbs and make it disable that's all you have to do then update so whenever you make a change just update it and then refresh the home page so that you can see whatever the changes you have done those changes are reflecting onto the front page or not Here we go so we can see the page title and page title bar has been completely removed now in order to create the banner slider firstly we need to install a plugin so let's go back to the backend here under the plugins click on add new 
Now in the search plugins box, search for Meta Slider. This is a free slider plugin which is available into the plugins directory and it is great for creating almost any type of slider. So you need to go with this Meta Slider Author Team Updraft. Just install and activate this plugin. So this plugin will allow you to create beautiful sliding banner onto your home page or any of this specific page. Let's activate it. The Meta Slider plugin has been successfully added. Just close this pop-up. Here we can see Meta Slider. Just click on it. So this is a new tab added into your WordPress dashboard when you activated the plugin. Alright, now our first step is to create a slideshow. So click on this add a new slideshow button over here at the very top. Now close this pop-up first. Here on the right hand side we need to specify the width and height of the slide images. So here we can make a standard size 1280 pixels width and 400 pixels. Now let's scroll down. If you want to display the navigation arrows make it checked navigation dots hidden or dots. So these are basically the little dots which are displayed at the bottom of the slides so we can make it hidden. Alright leave this slide show theme as it is. Scroll down. Go to the advanced settings. Here we can do some basic settings as well like stretch 100% wide output. It means there will be no space on the left and right side of the banner slider. Center align make it unchecked. Auto play the slide will rotate automatically. Image crop leave it as it is. Carousel mode leave it as it is. Fade in this is the animation of the slider. Hover pause it means if you will put your mouse onto the slider it will stop rotating. Slide delay so it is for 3 seconds the slide will stay onto the page. And that's all. We don't need to play with any other options. So let's add slide images. Click on add slide. And here you can upload the slide banner images. I recommend you to upload the images of size 1280 pixel and 400 pixel height. So I am uploading all the three banner slide images at once. So they will be existing into the media library like this. Now we can uncheck the other two and just keep selected the first one and click on add to slideshow. That's all you have to do. It will very soon appear over here in this area like this. In the same way we can add more slides. So click on add slide again as we have already uploaded to media library to so select the image from here add to slideshow. In the same way repeat the process again. If you want to pass a URL link so that if someone click on this banner slide they will be redirected to a specific page you can pass the URL over here. For example like and to open the link into the new tab click on checkbox. Okay now let's save it. Now at the very bottom we can see the short code. Just copy it. It means wherever you will paste this short code the entire slider with all these three slides will be displayed. So let's go back to the pages and we can paste this short code onto the home page. So here is the home page. Just click on edit. So this is our home page backend. Now let's go to the front page and understand where we have to display the slider. So this is our home page. We have to display the slider just above this electronics accessories text. It means over here and below this header. So go back to the backend. And here we have to display this slider just above this electronics accessories but in full width. So here we have to put some kind of uh, short code widget over here in this area. So click on this outer plus and now text block. Remember whenever you will be pasting any short code then you have to paste that short code into the text block widget. We can simply delete the demo text from here. And let's paste the meta slider short code. Save changes. At last we can update. Now let's go ahead and refresh our home page once again. So I'm just clicking on the logo. Here we go. So we can see the entire slider has been displayed over here with the navigation arrows. If we click on the arrow, the next slide comes up. But if you can see over here at the very top and left right side, there is some white space. So basically the top is the margin and the entire page has not been set up to the 100% full width to the browser. That's the reason why left and right side extra space is showing over here. So let's go ahead and remove it. Go back to the backend. 
Now at the very bottom here under the Ocean WP settings, under main tab, you can see content layout. Just set it to 100% full width and margins make it disable. That's all you have to do. Now let's update and we can refresh our home page once again. Here we go. So now this looks nice. The entire slider is now full width and all the extra margins have been removed. But if you can see at the bottom, the products are also sticked to the border. So let's add some space on the left and right side of this entire product section. Go back to the backend again. And here, as the products are displayed by using this short code, and this entire short code is in this inner row over here. You can see this is the inner row. So we have to make some setting into the inner row. Click on this pencil and here we can see design option. So click on design option. It allows you to make some customization into the exact row. Like you can set the border color, you can set the background color as well. So at the moment we have to add some space on the left and right side. That is space in CSS language called padding. So here we have padding box, top, right, bottom and left. So let's set some padding into the percentage. For example, like 12% left and 12% right. It means now if you will open this website in any of the screen resolution, the left and right padding will be set to 12% according to the screen resolution. So that is the best thing you can do in order to use this percentage over here. Now let's save it and we can update. All right, so page updated. Let's refresh our home page once again. Here we go. So we can see this slider is still full width, but now there is some extra space on the left and right side of this product section. In the same way, we can add some space on the left and right side over here. So again, go back to the backend. Now those products are displaying by using this short code. So now we have to edit this row. Click on pencil, then design options. And again, here we can pass 12% left and this is the right section, so 12% right. You can change these numbers as per your need and test like how many pixels are adding on the left and right side of the row. Let's update and now we can refresh our home page again. Cool. So now we can see the slider is over here. Products are also over here with left and right margin like this. Not the margin, but the padding. So that's super easy to add spaces and putting content onto the home page. I hope this section was very easy for you to put the content over here. Thank you very much. So far, we have set up our affiliate website homepage, the header menus, logo, products, and the product category title. Now, it's time to play with footer and customize it as per our need. So at the very bottom, we can see the footer. This complete area is called footer where the above broad bar is widgets bar and the very bottom bar is called copyright bar. We'll be removing the widgets bar and will replace this default copyright text with ours and will also put the privacy policy and terms conditions link next to copyright text. So let's go ahead to the dashboard. Now hover on appearance and we can click on customize. Just click on it. Now on the left bar find out footer widgets. Here is footer widgets tab, just click on it and we can disable the footer widgets area. So once we uncheck this box, we can see the preview, the widget area will be disappeared from here like this. It has been removed. Now let's go back, click on this arrow, footer bottom. So this is the area from where we can write our own custom copyright text. So firstly, we can just delete this text. Now let's write our own one. So we can type like copyright 2019. Then we can put some vertical line. You can see the preview as well on the right bar. It is showing over here. In order to put the link, you can simply use a basic HTML. Like we can use the uh, ahref tag. So like this ahref. If you don't know about this tag, don't worry. I'll be guiding you how we can use the basic HTML tags in order to put the link. Now we can write privacy policy 
and close the a tag in the same way we can also put the link of terms and conditions okay. all right so we can see in the copyright bar the basic text copyright 2019 all rights reserved has been placed and these two links has been set up as well but we haven't passed the privacy policy page link and terms and conditions link so it's time to get the link of these two link text and then after we can paste that link between these two keywords so let's go back to our dashboard and now click on pages we need to get the link of privacy policy page so here once you hover on privacy policy you can see these little text below it so just right click on view and then open link in new tab so this will open over here that's the exact link of this page just copy it and now we can paste this link between these double quotes like this in the same way for terms and conditions we also have to paste the terms and conditions link between them so let's go back to the pages again and here we can right click open link in new tab and then copy this url at last we can paste it over here so this is the standard syntax of creating a link in html so we have just used a one line html over here in order to create the hyperlinks like this at last publish all right so let's refresh our home page once again okay so let's scroll down here we can see the copyright bar text has been replaced so that's so easy to play with footer thank you very much In this lecture, I'm going to guide you how we can do on-page SEO of our products so that our products will be Google friendly and it would be easier for us to rank them onto the Google. For example, we need to do SEO of this SanDisk Ultra Plus product. So we'll be doing some kind of on-page SEO. So in order to do that, go back to your dashboard. Now go to the product backend. So just click on all products link over here. All right, let's find out our product. Now we are going to do on page SEO of SanDisk one. So click on edit. Here we go. Now scroll down and jump to Yoast SEO section. So this is the section which is available through Yoast SEO plugin that we had installed and activated at the very earlier lecture. So this plugin will help you to do on page SEO fix all the on-page SEO issues and everything. Now let's focus on this snippet preview area. Don't you think it looks like the Google search result? For example, when someone enter a keyword, the Google search results look something like this, the URL of that website, then the page title and at last meta description. So this is how Yoast SEO makes it possible for you to see how your search result will look like onto the Google. And here you can pass the keyword of your product. Now, this product is regarding the SanDisk 32 GB memory card. It means the keywords would be something like SanDisk 32 GB memory card or SanDisk 32 GB chip or SanDisk memory card or SanDisk chip. So these type of some relevant keywords would be better for us to target so that this product will rank up onto the Google. So firstly, let's go ahead and check out the search volume. It means how many people are searching those keywords every month onto the Google. So in order to do that, simply go to the website wpscratch.com slash affiliate. Yes, that's the same website from where we had started this entire course. And at the very bottom, you can see Google Keyword Tool. Just click on Keyword Explorer. There are many premium tools also available for keyword research, but those are premium. You have to pay for reusing those keyword tools as you are a beginner. So I am just recommending you to use the Google Keyword Planner, which is 100% free of cost and you can do a better keyword research. And later on, when you will become a pro, then you can use the other premium tools like Ahrefs or SEMrush like those. So here, just click on sign in. You can use your own regular Gmail account in order to log in into your Google Keyword tool. So I'm just using my own email address. All right. So now click on discover new keywords and here just enter all the keywords which you have in your mind, which are relevant to your product.
once you enter the keyword just put the comma and then space so i'm just going to check the search volume of these top 4 keywords which i have in my mind so you can enter up to 10 keywords at a time over here and then click on get started so this google keyword planner tool will help you to check the average monthly searches of the keywords the competition of those keywords whether they are high low or medium in searches and you can also filter the results according to the location like if you can see here all locations have been set up it means in the entire world these type of keywords like sandis 32 gb uh, sorry sandis chip 32 gb it is searched up to 10 to 100 people every month and competition is high in the same way if we can check the other keyword like sandis memory card so this keyword have maximum searches around 10,000 to 1 lakh searches every month onto the Google search engine around the world. So in this way, you can decide whether the keyword is potential or not and people are searching for that keyword or not. Now let's go ahead and filter the result according to the location. For example, if you just want to target the United States customer, so just hover over here and click on this pencil. Now here enter the location like United States and then click on target here we can see united states so now it will only show you the results up to united states so let's go ahead and wait for a few seconds all right so now we can see if uh, you will be targeting this keyword sandisk memory card so up to 1000 to 10000 people every month search for this keyword on the google only in united states so in this way you can check the keyword volume and everything and I recommend you target those keywords which have maximum search volume every month like average monthly searches every month. So better would be target this keyword Sandisk memory card. So let's go back to the product and we have decided the keyword so enter over here Sandisk memory card that's fine. Now we need to change the snippet preview so click on edit snippet now here seo title seo title is basically this blue color text which is appearing onto the google as well so here we can simply delete everything and write our own title that would be seo friendly for example right here send this memory card something like that here I have done a mistake so so in this way the title will appear on the Google and it is appealing the customers to click on it like Sandisk memory card it includes the keyword as well Sandisk memory card and the keyword is also Sandisk memory card now second thing we need to edit the slug so make sure that keyword also exists in this slug so let's say Sandisk then memory then hyphen card in this way now let's write some meta description over here for example like this so here we can also see the main keyword is also written into the meta description so now whenever your article or whenever this product will be ranking onto the google the result will look something like this the url will be appearing like this send is hyphen memory hyphen card this will be the product title appearing and that's the meta description so that's all you have to do now include the same keyword in this product description as well and into the title so it will help you to rank up this product on the google organic results very fast for example we can write over here And the same we can include in the product description. The same this ultra micro SD like that. So you can set up the keyword as per the sentence flow. So that's all you have to do. And in this way, we can fix up the on page SEO of our product. Here you can also see the used SEO analysis by just clicking on this SEO analysis. So it will give you like what are the drawbacks still in this product on page SEO so you can fix them one by one like text length. So the text contain 256 words this is slightly below the recommended minimum of 300 words. So you should write the product description up to at least 300 words 
then this will be uh, added to this list and it will turn into the green color in the same way include some images and in the alt attribute write the keyword to those images then internal links and out outbound links so internal and outbound links are something like that for example uh, let's say we are going to uh, put some internal linking like we have another product uh, that is the charger so we can say you can also check out the samsung original charger now let's link this samsung original charger with the exact charger product so this linking will be called as internal linking it means when you will be linking the one product with the other product on the same website so that is called internal linking and when you are linking some text to some other website then it will be called as external linking so let's do internal linking once you highlight it then click on this insert or edit link so it will show you this box now we need to put the link of charger product in this box so let's go to the product i'm just opening it into the new tab so that we can get the exact charger product link so it is opened into the new tab all right this is the charger just click on view and from here we can get the page url so this is the url just copy it Control c we can come back to the product again highlight samsung original charger click on this icon and then paste that link then click on this arrow apply that's all you have to do so this is called internal linking now at last update let's check our front page once again so i'm just refreshing the front page of this product here we go so now we can see the exact page title is seo friendly as it have keyword we have also included the keyword into the long description of this product like the sandisk memory card the internal link is also over here and i recommend you to just follow all the instructions which have been given into the yoast seo section go to this seo analysis and here it will be giving you all the points green point means everything is clear you don't need to do anything with them the red line means the seo is very bad in terms of outboard links and key phrase, key phrase density so key phrase means the number of times a focus keyword appears into the entire product description image alt attribute it means you need to insert some image into the product description like this so if you want to insert any image just put the cursor over there and click on add media so it will allow you to upload the image from the desktop so this is how you can set up the image into the product description and then after text length so as i already told you write the description at least 300 words so that's all you have to do in this on page seo of the product thank you very much In this lecture, I'm going to show you how we can share our product onto the Facebook so that our product will be reached to millions of people and the chances of selling this product will be higher. The process is very simple and very easy to promote your Amazon affiliate product. Simply copy the link of this product. Now in the new tab, open facebook.com. If you want to share this product with your own audience like friends or colleagues, so in the post area just paste that link and hit space so you can see the preview is auto fetched from your website onto the facebook just share it and it will be shared to all your audience the best way i recommend you join few groups which have maximum members like 50000 or 60000 members and share your product links into those groups so that would be better to increase your sales thank you very much